to the gap to quarry out a stone. They quarry out a massive stone. It is a biblical gazit stone. It's a massive rectangular block of stone, 20 tons of stone. And according to the mystery, the stone has to be taken to the ground of destruction. So they take the stone and they bring it to New York City. And they take the stone more specifically and they bring it to ground zero where the bricks have fallen. And they lower the stone onto the pavement of ground zero. And they have a ceremony around the stone. They make it into a symbol, a symbol of defiance. And around the stone gather American leaders, the mayor of New York, the governors of New Jersey and New York and others. They all gather around to have this ceremony. And what they do is they pronounce vows of defiance, that this stone will become a symbol that America is going to come back stronger than ever before. There is a phrase that you find when you read the commentaries on Isaiah 9 10. And the phrase is, spirit of defiance. And what the commentators say is that the nation is laying this stone in the spirit of defiance. It represents a national spirit of defiance, ultimately against God. Well, an eerie thing. When the governor of New York, when he spoke over the stone, he said, we are laying this stone in the spirit of defiance. The Gazit stone, the fifth harbinger of a nation in danger of judgment, manifests in America on July 4th, 2004, at the site of 9-11.